Poco guys. Um, it's a really bad thunderstorm right now, so I'm not streaming, and it is Monday, and I want to stream. Okay, trust me, I want to stream. However, um, a lot of you guys, uh, a lot of you guys seem to show an interest in, um, in in what I do after I stream. It's like you guys just want more of me. And so if that's the case, don't forget, I do have a vlog in channel and I'll, I'll put like a annotation here, like, you know, click my face to find more sort of thing. And, um, or you can check out my uh, modeling vlog channel where you will see me do models like this. And that. Because a lot of people keep asking me what are those weird lights behind me and models like that and models like that and models like all of those freaking tanks and the at, -At walker and the tiger and the pickup and this this is something very special this is a an american f8 crusader yes does have jet engines that light up and, and flicker and stuff in the back and it's got this nav strobe lights and whatnot and the cockpit even lights up but you can't really tell because of the dust but if you look inside you can actually see the, the cockpit light up. Well a lot of you guys really wanted to know what I do um, when the stream goes off air. Just gotta move that tail out of the way. I got my shirt. Well, this is what I do. I'm just a regular average Joe, okay? And now my wife's freaking out because she thinks she's gonna be on video. You point that camera at me, I'll kill you. What camera? Camera in your hand. What camera? <laughs> point, point what in my hand? And now I gotta keep my back to my husband. <laughs> I know, I just like looking at that ass. Would you quit it? Quit what? I've got you right where I want you. <laughs> Me. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do, guys. All right. Uh, this is my kitchen. Let me just walk through here because it's a bloody mess right now. Ah, ah, ah. It's my dogs. But uh, yeah, this is what's going on right now, guys. It's our annual monsoon. Right, those are some moving boxes. Uh, that we finished using. Now I'm gonna take those to the dump. And yes, those are actually old cookers. I plan on taking those out to the desert and shooting them. Uh, plus the microwaves as well and stuff like that and whatnot. Um, so yeah, expect to see a video for that when I hit 3,000 followers. I plan on taking these cookers and mic some microwaves and uh, a couple of old uh, CRT TVs and stuff, taking them out to the desert and shooting them. But no, that's what I wanted to show you guys. The, the thing in between the trees. That is our annual thunderstorms rolling in. And uh, this is why my Monday stream is on hold. This is why I'm doing this video. Uh, and everyone's like, well, I'm gonna screen doors. Uh, the, the last thunderstorm we had blew the screen door clean off its hinges. I mean, <laughs> clean off and even blew out that window. So um, yeah, so I've gotta get a new window and fix the screen door and oh yeah. So. We get some pretty strong winds here in Utah, uh, especially out in, down south, out in the desert. But this is my back garden. Uh, this is where some of my project vehicles are gonna be going uh, for the automotive channel that I, 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 I'm, I've just started. Uh, I plan on doing a couple of compilation videos for that channel first and foremost. Uh, mostly some engine builders that I know uh, with some of their engines, you know, on the dynos roaring and, and whatnot. You know, drum up a little business for them. And a local uh, a body shop just opened up here in town. And I wish them all the best, I really do. But they don't do interiors, they don't do upholstery. Um, they just do collision repair, basically. They're, they're, they're the sort of people that you go to to get a quote to send to your, to your car insurance companies. That's what they do. And uh, it's, it's sad. It really is sad. Uh, me personally, uh, uh, I was hoping that there'd be a nice, more customizable body shop, you know? So I could take some of my project cars in there and have them shave the drip handles and the doors and a few others, you know what I mean? Give my cars some of that uh, more sleeker Cali look, 
uh, or, or, or the uh, typical f uh, uh, East Coast uh, uh, sort of style because uh, East Coast and West Coast cars have their own unique style. You can take a 64 Impala and the guys up in New York won't know what the hell to do with it. And, and you take it to like to to mid coast, you know, like like New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado area, and they'll low ride it because it's majority Hispanic in those areas. Not that I'm blaming Hispanic people; you guys are awesome at what you do. Take it out to Cali. Some will most likely low ride it, probably put it on airbags, put it on 20 dubs, stuff like that. You know what I mean? But not a few like me would take a look at the handles granted they're americana they're classic they're unique to the 64 impala i would shave those handles shave the drip rails uh, uh shave that stupid little chrome strip lining that they have on the side pull that off bundle up all the the, the plug holes because they were spring clipped in so this is what a lot of people don't seem to understand chrome mold linings on the side of cars even newer cars that's where a lot of water gets in and causes rust it's an actual design defect that the, the car companies actually have uh in their vehicles and it is a shame it, it's a freaking crying shame it really is me personally uh i would pull that chrome molding off bundle up those holes and i would airbrush me a uh, a nice straight line or a you know like a nice continuous one long pen stripe line uh probably put it into like a fleur de leaf style pen striping at the rear or, or bring it down and taper it down kind of like how um mopars have that taper like on the, the chargers and whatnot on the original chargers 70s chargers they had that taper going up and across it said 440 on it do something very similar like that um just to break up the monotonous of the lines is what i would do uh probably get uh some um some one-off rims made you know alum billet aluminum rims made for it probably low profile pirelli tires wide wide nice wide tires you know probably tub out the wheel wells so you can put some nice wide tires on it put some uh wheel wood or brimbo brakes on that sucker because i mean if you want to go fast you got to stop that probably put some under under cross bracing to stop the, the chassis for, or, or chassis as I like to call it most Americans call it a chassis I call it a chassis the C is pronounceable you don't call him Charlie Brown do you you call him Charlie Brown see what I'm saying dumb Americans still anyway um, that's what I would do to a 64 Impala um, almost any G or K body car like that Mustang uh, uh, you can always put a nice good cross brace right on the rear section of the, of the 60s Mustang where the back well, what could be considered the back seat is pull that back seat out you'll see a huge great big opening in the back put a cross brace there straighten out the rear end make it nice and tight go underneath throw in a, a cross body mount or, or, or you could just make a tube a, a tube chassis for it you know a light light and uh, tube chassis i do have a 67 mustang 67 68 mustang on the way i've got a 73 ford maverick on the way and i have a 73 oldsmobile omega on the way um i am in, in the process of talking to a guy who owns a 64 gto as well to come into the shop uh also i've got a guy who also owns a 68 68 guys pontiac fiber uh so yeah, that that's for, that's for the wife, but she doesn't know this yet. So, plus she doesn't watch any of my videos, so no, it's not going to be a spoiler for her. But uh, I'm also going to be picking up a uh, little red express truck. Uh, I've got a, a Chevy C10, uh, a custom C10, that uh, single cab, long bed. I'm going to cut cut it down to a short bed. I'll be doing a video on that and how to cut down a long bed to a short bed. Uh, that'll be going up on the channel as well. I'm, I'm mostly going to be explaining to you guys how to do simple things that you can do to your car, regardless of make and model, uh, regardless of what tools you have. Um, some people don't even know how to do basic tune-ups, for crying out loud, you know? Uh, one guy I know, I'm not going to say his name, he didn't even know how to change the oil in his car. This, this is the exact look I gave him. 
when he said he didn't get your butt in the house, Jojo. <laughs> My puppy. He's uh, dad's talking. He must be talking to someone. <laughs> He's a good dog. And um, so yeah, he he didn't know how to change his oil in his Mustang. <laughs> and it was a 40th anniversary Mustang at that. So I changed his oil for him, showed him the bolt, like the drain, the drain plug bolt, and told him, you know, what oil have you got? And he showed me the most crappiest oil I've ever seen in my life. And I'm sorry if you're a Penzoil fan. Idiots. That's what I need to say. Do not use Penzoil synthetic, okay? Penzoil synthetic just sucks. Use Castrol synthetics, okay? Get the Castrol synthetics, uh, uh, high mileage, or the Castrol synthetics uh, uh, with Magnetech. Okay, the Magnetech stuff helps keep the seals in uh, uh, your engine and in your trunk. They, they even do one for, for automatic transmissions to help keep the uh, pan seal and the, the rear seal. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Uh, again, no, I'm not sponsored by Castrol. I was sponsored by Castrol when I used to race back in England. Uh, I'm no longer sponsored by Castrol, and uh, I've used their products for almost 10 plus years. Uh, uh, I remember when their Magnetech stuff first came out, it was called Castrol GTX with Magnetech. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is this Magnetech crap? You know? And then I actually saw what it did, you know? Uh, uh, and now I actually know engine builders that will take some of that stuff and literally soak se uh, 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 gasket seals and stuff and a few other things in it before they actually build the engine. And they go, watch. And I mean, they will purposely push you up to 7,000, 8,000 RPMs, which would normally lift ahead on, on some some FE, FE Ford engines. A and it lifted the head, lifted the head clean up, and the head went and resealed right away. Can't do that on a Chevy. <laughs> sure as hell can't do that on no Dodge. <laughs> but uh, no, again, guys, yes, I will be getting majority Ford vehicles in, in the shop. Well, the horn blows, does the driver. Um... As, I, as, as some people I know say, a mouse a mouth, Governor. Uh, me personally, uh, I, I the 73 Oldsmobile Omega is my personal drive. It's going to be my personal car. Okay, I'm going to be driving that sucker. Uh, so what goes in it is what I want to go in it. Uh, I promise the owner it will be a pure car, which means I can't put a Ford engine in it. I can't put anything non-GM or Chevrolet. Chevrolet. There's no why. Again... It's jalapeno, not jalapeno, sorry. Um, but still, uh, I, I promised the guy that I wouldn't put anything non uh, uh, got a mechanic coming or, 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 or anything like that in it. So uh, this video is probably going to be a little bit long. But you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. If you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. Me. And um, so... Mostly, what I do in my spare time when I'm not streaming and not working my ass off, I usually work on my other channels. Now, I have a modeling slash vlogging channel called Malavictus, M-A-L-V-I-C-T-U-S. Again, annotations in the description and stuff like that. Uh, that channel, I just talk about video, like, uh, uh, what's going on, kind of very, very similar to this, is what that channel's all about. Just me vlogging into a camera, vent in things like that um, and then I've got uh, overload automotive overload automotive is my channel that's about everything with an engine it's not just about a car it could be about boats ATVs lawn mowers it doesn't bloody matter if it has an internal combustion engine it is probably going to be talked about on the show uh, I don't claim to be an expert in everything, and I'm not. And, I, and, and I'm not gonna lie. When I do start building, uh, 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 like a car, like like working on my Nova, for example, when I start working on, um, I want to keep calling it a Nova. It's not an Omega. When I start working on the Omega, okay, I plan on simply doing a few minor things to it. Um, Body lines wise, like I said, I'm going to be removing the, 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 the chrome molding. I'm going to be removing uh, the door handles and a few other things. I'm going to do those myself because I know how to do those. I have access to welders, cutters, grinders, you name it. But 
when it comes to engine compression and various other things like that, I'm going to go and I'm going to refer to some of my expert friends. Now, the person who I have bought the Omega from is a very good family friend of mine. He's like a dad to me. And he has an original 1943 uh, Chevrolet, uh, Chevy Jeep, Willys Jeep. Even still has the bullet holes in it. And that's sitting in his garage. And he won't let me have it because <laughs> he knows what I'll do to it. But uh, yeah, he he his name's Dennis, and uh, he's like a father to me. And uh, I, I I got the Omega for a steal. That's all I need to say. So I got it for a steal because I'm I'm family. And he thinks he's converting me from Ford to Chevy, which he isn't. Uh, yes, it will be my daily driver next to my pickup truck. That's going to be a whole season long project. Now, unlike other other car shows like uh, Hot Rod Garage and Gas Monkey Garage and Monster Garage and all these other freaking garage, garage, garages, or garage, is what I like to call them in England, um, I am going to be specifically laying out scenarios. Like, okay, if I upgrade the brakes, I've got to do a video on how to bleed brakes properly, how to remove the brakes, how to, to, to replace the rotors, the pillars, stuff like that. But there's already videos out there that already does that. You see what I'm saying? So I've got to take a look. I mean, my, 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 my end goal project that I want to do myself is I want to take a 97 to 03 Ford F-150 single cab short bed lower it do some some performance upgrades to it and basically have it be a poor man's svt lightning but my lightning you see what i'm saying i want it to be my lightning see what i'm saying i am not paying almost a hundred thousand dollars for an svt lightning when i can build one for under that way under that my budget for that build is going to be about $20,000. But if I can get it under that, if I can get it for, say, under ten, that's even more because that's more money I can put into flipping and buying cars. That's another thing you're going to see me do. Uh, you're going to see some vehicles, uh, videos on the vehicles um, that aren't mine. They're going to be project vehicles. Oops, stupid zoom. They're going to be uh, vehicles that I, I buy and I flip. I sell them or their parts cars. I take what parts I want from them and then I throw it up on eBay or, or you know, I, I, I'll keep them around. Churchill, get your butt in the house. I'm talking to the camera. Mr. Friggin' Know-It-All. And um, so I plan on doing a couple of videos where it's like, uh, like, like, like the first video, the first season that you're going to see in uh, Overload Automotive is going to be me and some friends going into a junkyard, finding a junker, an actual non-running driving car, and for a budget of under $5,000, we are going to get the car running, driving, and sell it on eBay. If we make a profit, great. We can use that profit to buy the next project car. If we lose our ass, that kind of kills the show. Do you see what I'm saying? It's I got that part from 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 Monster Garage. If you remember Monster Garage, they had seven days and seven thousand dollars to build uh, 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 to take a, a, a running driving vehicle and turn it into whatever. Well, with me, I want to up the ante. I want to lower the budget. Time constraints are, are non-existent. So if it takes me a month, it takes me a month. It takes me a week, it takes me a week. Okay? But there's no sponsors. I'm not being sponsored for this. This is five grand out of my own pocket. Five Gs. <laughs> out of my own pocket. Summit's not sponsoring me. Billet's not racing, uh, sponsoring me. No one is sponsoring my channel or me. Not even YouTube. This is something I want to try myself. And if this if it takes off, great. If it falls on its face, fair enough. I'm only out five grand and I've got a couple of project cars that I can use for parts 
maybe turn it into a circle track race car and race it for a season or two and then sell it. Either way, I'm not out of anything. You know what I mean, guys? And as they say, three days out of the week, sitting in front of a computer, granted, I can understand to a select few that's entertaining, but I want to branch out, and that's what I'm doing. My channel is called Deceptive Entertainment for a reason. I try to be an entertaining person. I try to be an entertaining, just entertaining all around. I try, I do try. And sometimes it works. A lot of times it doesn't. So this is what I do in my off days. Looks like the thunder's stopped, so I might be getting ready to start my stream here so soon, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the see you in Twitch chat. If not, who knows? I'll see you in the comments. And no matter what, my friends, nothing ventured, nothing gained. He who dares wins. Till then, guys. I'll see you in the next vlog.